Right, so let me just bring up the screen. Hope everybody can see that. Mm -hmm. right, so somebody else just joining in our room. Um, right, there we are. I'm going to... Right, so welcome to another edition of the Influencer Marketing Roundtable. Um, just for those of you that don't know who I am, uh, I am a podcaster, Influence. Um, I'm hoping everybody has subscribed to my podcast. If you haven't, do, do check out one of them and see what you think. They're really, really good. Uh, we're now in our fourth season. Lots of really, really great uh, people I've interviewed over the years. Um, from brands, agencies, content creators as well. And they're all sort of sharing lots of tips and advice. Um, the other thing um, that um, I'm delighted about, is, of course, I'm an author on influencer marketing strategy. Um, soon to be going to Brazil, actually, in three weeks' time, because mm. the Portuguese version of influencer marketing uh, is being launched. Uh, and we've also completed, I don't know if any of you guys know this, but I've just finished completing a film on influencer marketing. Um, so we're going to be uh, sharing that in a cinema, of which um, is going to be sold out, apparently, so I hear, because they're advertising on billboards and on uh, bus shelters. So I'm really, really excited about that. Uh, and on Monday, we've got the Business Book Awards and Influencer Marketing Strategy has been shortlisted for uh, Business Book of the Year. So um, it's, it's and the reason I say those things is because, you know, I, I never written a book in my life before. And this was my first one. And uh, I had massive imposter syndrome about this. I thought, you know, who's going to really want to read this? I've been in the industry like half a minute. But, you know, if you really think about it and... Um, uh, interview uh, what I did is I interviewed some of the really really important godfathers within the industry and that's a really really important part of growing your influence it should actually is surrounding yourself with the most influential people and interviewing them a bit like what we were just talking about with uh, with Paul earlier uh, it's a really important strategy and it certainly clearly paid off with the book um, equally when it comes to uh, being on stage I'm often involved in panels or actually putting panels together and selling that proposition to conferences and event organizers uh, is a really really good tip to consider guys um, I also work with a global influencer marketing agency I actually work part-time now um, as their chief strategy officer but we have 107 million influencers on our platform. So if you know anybody that's interested in executing an influencer campaign, uh, then uh, do, uh, do have, a, have a chat with me. But um, I shouldn't also forget that I've worked in the association sector for many, many years. And um, I launched the influence division of the Brand and Content Marketing Association, Membership World and the Meetings and Event Support Association. But because um, I don't really sleep, <laughs> I also have my own influencer program as well, which is all about really helping individuals become um, more influential online. I've got a new client that I just started with last night, funny enough, in the financial coaching world, um, Anthony, um, which you might find uh, interesting. So it's been absolutely fascinating working with these people. Um, and I love, and I'm sure all of you, I love working with people on a one-to-one -one uh, basis. I've been on a few masterminds over the years um, where you all come in, you try and help each other. And I know that that has some value, but I, I think one of the things I found with that is I was spending a lot of time just helping other people and paying for the privilege of doing that. And if I'm really yeah. honest, and if I'm really honest, mm -hmm. I think when I talk to somebody, I'm only talking to them in their language and that's relevant to them. So we really have very, very focused outcomes. So if anybody's interested in finding out more about that, then, uh, then do let me know. Um, anyway, so today is all about uh, LinkedIn. Um, and what I'd like to do, as I say, once we finish this, is uh, for you guys to have a look at your own uh, LinkedIn profiles. And we can all sort of um, make suggestions and tips. So, um, uh, by the way, um, if I haven't mentioned it before, do put your LinkedIn profiles in the chat just so that you can all sort of link with each other uh, over the next few minutes or so. Right. So this is my profile. I'm hoping you're all connected to me. Um, and one of the things I think is really important is to make sure that you've got a strong headline um, that people really understand who and what you do uh, very succinctly. 
Um, this is mine, an example, and it's got my website uh, link there, and it tells people exactly what I do. It also gives people an opportunity to, to join the um, roundtable or the um, marketing Facebook group as well. So I think making sure that you have a strong headline. You'll also notice that I'm not just known as Gordon Glenister. I'm known as Gordon Glenister Influencer Marketing Membership. Now, that isn't my birth name, of course, but <laughs> the, the reason for that, and it's really important, guys, is that whenever I comment or whenever anybody tags me, that's what comes up. So this is really important when you're trying to create a, a reminder, because a brand is what somebody says about you when you're not in the room. I want people to remember me as the influencer marketing and membership guy. That's what I want them to do. That's all. Yeah. Uh, and, you know, you've all got your own taglines. You've got your own points of difference. So have a think about how you can do that. And when you go into the profile setting, all you need to do is look at your surname, which is first name and surname, and then add your the next line in and just see what sort of reaction you get from it. Uh, What's the point of the he, him at the end of your thing? Uh, to be honest, I've got no idea, to be honest. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I, 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 Is that a random thing? I think others have, others have done it, that it's, uh, that it's, put, <laughs> it's, it's been put there and um, I either can have it or not. And I, I don't know what relevance it has, if I'm really honest, Anthony. Um, but uh, No, no. I just yeah. wonder whether you, you've done it as a point of reference or anything or... What, to remind people that I'm actually he and not a... Uh, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Good point. Um, uh, now, I'm going to tell you a little bit later about why the photo is really important. It's amazing how some people don't even have a photo. And also, make sure that you've got the settings right, because sometimes they people have got the settings um, not right. And I've been to profiles, I bet all of you have, and there's no photo. And there has the, the photo showing up on their own profile when they look at it, but not externally. So make sure that you've got that uh, setting correctly. Um, a photo tells a thousand words, tells you all about what people, that's, it's effectively your CV, it should be your best photo. Um, if you go onto my profile, you'll also see that I've got a 10 second video right? I don't know how many of you have got that, but certainly worth um, considering. But you can only record that if you've got the LinkedIn app on your phone. Yeah. Um, all it does is it just gives you a, a, an opportunity for people to see the person behind the image. And we're all about authenticity. We're all about creating a uh, opportunity for people to engage with us. And if people can hear my voice, can hear a little bit about me, even though it's only 10 seconds, it's just another reason for them to engage, yeah? Um, uh, it's important to explain what you do, um, and those underneath where it says, I help leaders become more influential. Uh, it's a challenge sometimes to put, you know, lots of words there. Um, I try and sum that, I mean, some people don't have the, the various things that they do, and they just use that as, this is what I do. Um, it, it's it's up to you. I think what's important is to be discovered, and there are. And I think what hopefully you know my profile does is suggest a level of authority um, uh, in what I do and the the expertise that I provide. Um, that's the idea, of course. But um, uh, you know, I, I'm, I'm, you, you, let's have a look at your examples um, when when I've uh, finished talking, and then let's uh, talk about that afterwards. Um, you can also see there's a section called providing services. You get a number of options to fill in there on the right hand side. So please do consider doing that. There's also another option that says open to work. We all run our own businesses. So it's worthwhile putting things in there because now, now more and more people are looking for portfolio careers. So um, even if somebody's looking to hire somebody, they might actually think, right, well, I could I could have, I mean, actually now I work on a part-time basis with, with audience to media, which is, which is good for them because they're not paying me as much as they were. But in a way, they've still got the benefit of a um, leading expert. So I think um, by you not, don't just think this is for full-time work. It means that it could be an opportunity for you to get um, freelance work as well. Um, and obviously show your expertise. So there's uh, things like talks about, can you see where I've, filled in various sort of hashtags 
these are all part of the discovery as to how people will be searching for you. Oh, sorry, I, I shouldn't have done services provide again. Should do this late at night, forgive me. Um, add location, um, again, important to say where you are as well. Um, one other thing to think about is, and I can't show it on this screen, but um, you have the ability, depending on where your clients are, to um, uh, have your profile in another language. So mine is in Portuguese, Spanish and Chinese. And what that does is it when you look at it and when you go into edit your profile, you'll see the option to have additional languages. Now, that doesn't mean to say you have to write the whole thing again. What what LinkedIn do is just they just translate your profile for you into that specific language. So it's a really cool thing to do. And because, for example, I'm looking to expand my audience in Brazil and they speak Portuguese. I thought that was quite a good thing to maybe consider. I mean, I don't know how many people are looking at it from those countries, but, you know, there's no harm in doing it. Um, definitely have a look at your stats and keep an eye on how many people are um, looking at your profile. I don't know how many of you have got LinkedIn Premium. I still haven't, actually. I'm still on the free version. It's amazing what you can still get from the free version. That said, of course, um, when you've got... Um, um the premium version you can look a lot lot more at who has viewed your profile um so i i can see there that um 858 people have viewed my profile over the last 90 days now i guess if i was you know you know wanting to spend some more money on this i could start to delve into who those people are and they could be they could be leads for me um but what's important is that you're, you're growing your audience all of the time. Also, when you have the um, creator option, you can put this on. Um, I can't remember if it's actually, if you have to have a certain limit of people there, but um, that means that you are more, uh, more likely to be discovered. Uh, it pushes it out to more, more an audience. Um, now, this is important, guys. Um, your about section. So what I've done on mine is to clearly try and break out this into for businesses. And then there's a this further section for individuals. But what I've done is used a little green tick just to say, look, these are some of the things I'm helping people with. Yeah. So um, and I have seen uh, some people that just literally put a paragraph and have really missed a trick here. So use this as a great way to really provide a, a real value uh, exchange. Um, now, something else you might like to think about is, is putting as many of your jobs as possible um, on there. So for example, um, I've written, I write for the Evening Standard. Now, I only just thought about adding that in the other week. Um, I'm, I've been talking to um, doing stuff for universities and because I'm on their books as a part-time university lecturer, I've thought, well, why don't I add that, you know? Because all of these little things make a difference in adding to your credibility. Now, do you, do, do you understand what I'm saying? Um, so if you've done things, even in the past, um, it might only have been for a short period of time, and you think it will add weight to who and what you've done, yet really think about putting them in. The more information you can put into these, uh, the, the, the better. Um, another thing I'm a great believer in is asking for testimonials and give them. I'm, I'm really chuffed that I've managed to get uh, sort of 65 uh, testimonials from people. And why I think this is really important is because uh, it's much easier to get testimonials on LinkedIn and to give them. And once they've done those, you can then use that on your website or on other forms of content marketing strategy. Um, and uh, you know, who knows who's looking at those testimonials when you're not there? Yeah, they're more likely to be on LinkedIn than they are on your on your um, on your website. Um, and I think um, I've been really amazed at what some of the people th things that people have said, but also have a think about giving testimonials to some of your clients, to some of your people that you know and prospects, because the likelihood is they'll give them back to you, yeah? And this is all part of building a relationship 
Um, because if, it, if you're trying to help your clients or your prospects, it's the next stage down that funnel, isn't it? Um, there's a great little site called um, Photo Feeler. Yeah. I don't know if any of you guys know that. Um, I'm going to show you something in a minute which might make you smile. But somebody recommended this to me, a friend of mine, a few years ago. And um, because, you know, when you put a photo up um, on social media or whatever, and you put it on your LinkedIn or Facebook, you're the only one that is that is seeing that. No, obviously not the only one. You're the only one that's, that's, that's you think it's the right thing for people to say. And some, some people will say, oh, great profile, great picture. But what do they really, really think? So if you go onto this website called Photo Feeler, it gives you anonymous scores from people that you don't know about who and what, what they think of you in the context of a, a dating world, a business capacity, or just in a social one. So I did this, albeit this was a few years ago, and I was able to get a score on my business. So I tried some different photos uh, and to see what my scores were. And isn't it interesting to see here that the one that shows me right in front of a platform gives me a very, very high degree of influence. But for some, for some reason, I was less liked. <laughs> Whereas actually the one on the right had a higher score in likeable likability uh, and, and, and less in influence. So it is quite interesting. I mean, obviously, it's, it's a little bit impartial. People are giving different scores and it depends on the number of votes. But, you know, it's something you guys might like to try uh, and just yeah. sort of test test out. Yeah, yeah. That's really good. Anyway. Apparently, um, wearing red is the thing, Gordon. You need Say to him. wear a red shirt. Wearing red is the thing. You need to wear a red shirt. That, that apparently is a massive thing in influencing people. Is it? Wow. Yeah. Wow. Well, that's a bit of, uh, that's a lesson I've not heard before. Um, Wear red. <laughs> yeah. Well, you see, the thing is, isn't it? It's interesting how different things, I've got a particular jacket, uh, a gold jacket, and I wore it out um, into London um, recently. I had so much people, random people, oh, I love your jacket. And they liked, because it's got a velvet <laughs> touch to it. They come up to me and, and say, oh, that's really, really cool. And uh, isn't it funny, isn't it? I'm sure you've all got something that you, 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 whether it's a coat, a jacket or a shirt or something and somebody, and that becomes your, you know, your, well, what, what, why did they like it? You know, is it because it actually looked good against your, your colour tone, your hair or, or anything else? Or was it that it made you stand out? Because normally my cover colour would be black or navy blue. So for me to go gold, was quite quite a bold move um but you know you probably felt it and you were like I'm, I'm gonna wear gold today yeah and yeah you probably you probably pushed that energy out yes yes you're probably right to be honest Anthony I, I did and um and it's sometimes it's I, I was with a uh, fashion designer so I felt like I had to uh <laughs> I had to step up to them and it was a he so he's He's a very, very out of the box type of person. So I think because he was, I felt that if I wasn't wearing something that was suitably matched, <laughs> I would look like <laughs> dumbed down. But uh, anyway, it was, it was quite matching, matching shoes, Gordon, as well. No, I didn't go that far. <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, so uh, uh, some questions first and foremost about everybody's LinkedIn. If anybody wants to share their own LinkedIn profile or we can have a look at anybody else's, then feel free to do so. But uh, questions? Uh, I, I can make a statement and say that my, uh, my uh, LinkedIn seriously needs an overhaul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Seriously needs an overhaul. Um, um, and what, 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 why, why, John? What do you think is? I, I, I don't mind sharing. I'll, um, I'll, I'll just bring it up now. Yeah, uh, do one second. Do. Sorry. Let me just find the right page. Yeah. But I think it's um, it's all about, you know, we're in a safe environment here. It's all about sort of being constructive and helpful and stuff like that. 
Yeah. So, so um, go on. Yeah. Lo, lo, based on based on the slides that you were you were doing you, you were showing earlier, um, you know, there's, there's plenty of information missing. That um, that you know, t hashtags. One of the things that stands out. Um, this is more well, basically everything to do with. Um, you know, my uh, POS company, as opposed to anything else, is there's physically no information about anything else that I'm doing on there. Yeah, just one other thing. Here's that ad profile in another language. Can you see that on the top right? Uh, yes, yes. There it is. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ad, yeah. ad profile in another language. That's, no, down, down, yeah. down one, down one. Keep going down with your thumb. Oh, Can you see it? it says ad profile in another language? There. Yeah, yeah. So that's. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. certainly yeah certainly something i'm gonna i'm gonna look at doing as well yeah 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 and and i think um i'm not sure that header really works uh john to nah, be honest i agree um I, I agree this again this is something i put up i don't know how long ago to be fair right okay so um and and, and don't you know and get get one of the design team to really play around with some little things and if you want me to to give you my appraisal on this, on it, um, when when it's done and stuff, I'm more than happy to do that. Yeah, um, that'd be magic. Yeah. And, and then, John, look, think about you know adding some things about who and what you are, um, and, uh, yeah. following your name. Um, yeah. So I think I think that get scroll down a bit more. Yeah, so, um, right, so you've had 19 profile views. Yeah. Mate, what's going on? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> yeah, this, this needs to be in surgery. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I, I completely agree. Because, yeah, far, far, too, far too much. Right, far too okay. Much. Oh. Okay, oh, bless him, bless him. Right. Look, I, all, yeah. I would say, look, the, the, the point is, you know... <laughs> This is all about, you know, some great takeaways this morning here. Um, and I think, you know, the, the, the good thing is, John, you would be able to fix this in a day, right? In yeah, a, for sure. Days, in, a, in a, even a few hours, really. Yeah. Um, and, and look, go and have a look in detail at mine. And if you need to just copy some thoughts and ideas across, then then feel free to do so. And uh, yeah, most certainly. Uh, uh, is that a video? It's not a video, is it? That, that's click no. on. It isn't. Yeah. No. It, I mean, it actually is. It actually is a video. It's just still from a video. Right. Okay. So, you know, go on to the app. You know, you're such an engaging, fun, lively person. Um, <laughs> okay. The smile's nice, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't necessarily have known any more. Um, so, um, right, what I'm going to do is, what are we now? I'm going to suggest that within the next two Wednesdays, I want to see this back to uh, premium level, and you can show us. Yeah, sure. Not, not this Wednesday, the Wednesday after, yeah? Yeah, yeah, sure. Good, right, sure, okay, good stuff, buddy. Right, next, who else wants to share theirs? Uh, I'm Go happy to. Go on, Suze. Um, I've just got a, a share screen. Is that... I already saw your yeah. shows. I like the um, background picture. Oh, thank you. I, I actually think that photo, the main photo is like ridiculously small and I've taken the tip about wearing red. So I like red as well. So um, I need to do, okay. I haven't got recent photos, to be honest, not close up. So that I know, um, and put the video and stuff, what you were saying. Yeah, so that's good. Just, just um, uh, I'm wondering if, on the photo you yeah. could put some words in there that might even just be your website on the photo what the the, the banner or the the small yeah. photo yeah on, on the, the banner on the banner yeah. on the banner yeah. so within the in the bottom right hand corner mm -hmm. i would just put your website okay yeah good idea. yeah overlay yeah good idea overlay on an overlay yeah can't be clickable can it no, it can't be clip click clickable, but it just means that it's it just is another, you know, the many places that people can see it, the 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 the, the better, really. Um, yeah. 
So uh, you've got a great follower number there, um, Suze. You're right. You're right on my coattails. You are. <laughs> I spent a lot of time like clicking on and, you know, looking at other people's connections, to be honest, and, and clicking on ones I like the look of. Um, That's I, 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 Scott actually told me once you get to 30K, you can't follow any more people. That's correct. Which I didn't yeah. know. Yeah. 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 So, so that's good. Um, so 360 profile views, that's good. Um, 40 post impression. Have you got the full and you've got the creative mode on? That's great. Um, have you got the premium? Have you got LinkedIn? No. No, no, no. no, no. And what I was going to ask, actually, I mean, I know another discussion with Scott is he sort of shares like, you know, photos from the trips and so on. And I, I, I've kept it quite business. But I've noticed when I have done things that are a bit more fun, people do engage with it. So I don't know what your thoughts are on. Yeah, remember, people stuff, you know. people want to be entertained, educated, or inspired. You know. Yeah. The good thing about what you do is it's a it's it's a beautiful thing that people are naturally going to be interested in. You know, um, and and therefore you can bring stuff to life. Um, what I didn't share with people and move up a bit, um, actually, is the this featured section. So this mm. this allows you to put in some of your um, various media. I think it's about five or however many you can have. Um, but think about what is your most popular links here as well. So if they've been a report or if they've been a podcast or things that, have, that you know have had good interaction put them in in this area yeah um because it's a really good place to look okay that's good yeah i'll scroll down a bit, uh, a bit uh, and then that, that's just showing all the activities that you've done which is great um the about is oh it's way too short isn't it yeah okay yeah way too short way too short <laughs> so, so literally spell spell more you really you know you've got a big word count there really leverage that and use little green ticks or things that you can do for people like blog writing the stuff that you've already got on a website because really I know you want people to go to your website but actually let's assume that they don't and you give them enough information for them not to do that mm. you know that's a really good idea um anything that you can add in here Suze, that you have that you have done um and even if it's for a short period of time like being like a, a panel host like mm. you did the other time i mean mm. who's to say that you don't put freelance and you put you put yeah. um travel panel host yeah do you know what I mean? It makes you stand out as somebody that's, yeah. that, that's already an authority figure in the space. Mm, that's a good point, actually. Mm -hmm. um, and when you put in the about section, can that be found? Uh, does, does that function as search, you know, the keywords, do you think? Or I, th I think it's, it's all about, um, I mean, if you think about when you Google your name, the more, you know, the more content you have on your profile, the more likely google is going to because google is is looking at linkedin and is looking at relevance as well so um you know it it it, it can only do good things um testimonials endorsements and and yeah having all of those um skills in place as well um are, are important if you've had any certificates guys as well that's something else to consider um that you put on there it all adds to your even if you you know, what did I do once? I worked for the Institute of Export and I did uh, a course on customs training. I mean, pff, it's not highly relevant to the influencer space, but actually, again, it just adds to what I've done so far that if people are going... So th what I'm saying is don't leave any stone unturned. You know, if you've appeared on a radio show, for example, you know, um, could you add that in? you know um all sorts of things like that and um, one other thing about testimonials is here's my thing right don't none of you work for free and when i say don't work for free i mean don't work where you are um I'm, i believe in the principle of a value exchange so if somebody if i'm giving a load of advice to somebody in a half an hour strategy session and they're not going to book anything or do anything with me i've just lost them out of 30 minutes of paid potential work. So I will openly say at the end of that session, look, if you found this really, really beneficial, would you mind just giving me a, 
a testimonial on LinkedIn or in the Facebook group. And, you know, the amount of people that say, of course, I'd be delighted to. But the reason I do that is for the reasons why, A, it makes me feel better, quite frankly. <laughs> but also, I think it's also about um, this credibility by association. So um, um, if people see you as having, you know, oh, it's another person that's had time with Gordon, another person that's had time with John, another person that's had time with Suze, she must be good. So people are talking about you when you're not in the room. And that is how you grow your brand when you're not there. And of course, testimonials is a great way to do that. You know? Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay, super stuff, Suze. Anybody else want to share their screen? Yeah, I'm happy to give it a go. Yeah, go on then. Let's let's have a look. Right, let's click the magic button. Um, I was doing a bit of digging while we we're talking as well. And I just noticed that um, just for people's interest, yeah, Canva has got some really good templates for um, banner profiles, that kind of thing. So I'm just sort of um, is my screen, is my screen showing up? Yes, is this Canva? Yeah, there's, so there's lots of templates in it. I'm not saying that you know people should use that, but it's just another place you can have a look. Yeah, that's a really, really good shout, actually, to be fair. Yeah, isn't it? Uh, yeah. So my profile is here, and it's already being updated because <clears throat> from the last LinkedIn, um, sorry, the last meeting that we had here, you know, I was, I was looking at your profile image, Gordon. I thought it's really cool. And there's, there's another lady called Wendy Maynard that's a big LinkedIn person. And again, similar advice. So my, my image is being updated to reflect some of the things you said today. So thank you for that good advice. That's, that's um, fine, that's good. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's that's how it looks currently, but next week it'll be different. So let's, let's uh, yeah, same with you then. Let's uh, let's share let's share your, your results, because I think that would be good. Um, and um, in fact, it'd be really good if people have made, have, have made some changes to their own LinkedIn profiles, and then we can, we can see together having now seen some of them now in a, in a week or two's time or something, <clears throat> what difference they yeah. made. So that'd be really, yeah. really good. Um, okay. Uh, can you just, is it my screen? I can't see that so well. Um, well do you want to scroll? <clears throat> can you just put up a, put it up a bit, the, the, the screen, what do you call it? The font size. Oh, I can make, there we go. It's sooner. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. Super, <laughs> super, super, super. Right. Okie dokie. Right, so, um, okay, that's perfect, that's perfect, yeah, 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 okay, right, so, I think, um, yeah, you're not using as many, take on this course, so, you know, you want to use as many characters under that, take your online course to get internet marketing flying to the next course, I'm not sure that's strong enough for me, Paul, okay. that yeah. scrap line, it doesn't really, I don't really, I don't really, I don't really understand enough about that. Um, okay. That's so a ha have, a, have a think about uh, making that more succinct. And um, remember, I always talk about three words. You know, something that, you know, what is Paul? You know, you're the you're not, you're a digital marketing expert or you're the whatever you are in three words um, because that's the sort of stuff that I think need to, needs to follow your name. Yeah. Um, and I mean that for everybody, by the way, you know, that's why you sometimes see the ice queen or the the um, the, the biscuit creator or whatever. It's it's different. It's, it's sort of three or three words that actually people can remember. We're, you know what? We're, we're trying to leave an impression with people. And if we tell them too much, they remember nothing, you know. So yes. it's about having two or three words just being. And that's why. Those three words after your name are so, so important. Um, great, you've got the uh, location there. Um, you've got the providing services, which is good. Um, have a look at the um, ad profile in another language. Yeah, um, it's, it's, some... worth, it's worth doing. Um, let's scroll down a bit. Um, okay, so you've had 178 profile views, which is, which is not bad. Um, you've only had seven post views, uh, you know, I mean, one of the challenges that we're all facing at the moment, if I'm honest, on LinkedIn is the algorithm is getting tougher and tougher. So, um, uh, you know, I, even I've put out, I mean, I, I sometimes share one of the podcasts that I put out and, oh dear, it's a <laughs> painful level of responses. <laughs> um, 
And, um, you know, it just shows you, whereas there's a guy called Anthony James. Have a look at Anthony James, by the way. He's, he only puts out videos and they are, they are all the most innovative, amazing videos. And I share them all the time. <laughs> um i mean he, i think he's got ridiculous insane levels of followers um but uh, it's what what i say to people all of the time don't do what you've always done because you'll always get what you've always got the reality is is switch it up change it if you can start to think about using uh video content or commenting more on your target audience's um linkedin profiles as well um so that's good okay scroll down a bit paul what's your about us look like needs a lot of improvement from what we've been talking about today so i've got a i'm making making extensive notes here so i'm going to do a lot of work okay that's good that's good okay right super so it's a bullet i think i need to put some bullet points in there break it up break it up and just make it easy and succinct for people to look at yeah yeah okay that's good um Scroll down. Okay, yeah, so not, not a huge amount of activity uh, going on there. Um, and what about the experience? Now, you've got here um, LDM. Uh, that looks, that doesn't look like there's a logo attached to that. Yeah, I need to sort that. Um, again, that just looks like it's not professional enough without seeing that yeah um and i don't know if you can create a logo i, I mean for property investing developer i mean that's has you being is that a company paul jordan property no it's um it's something i do it's, it's something as i do as a i wouldn't say as a sideline but it's kind of any sort of spare any extra cash that i have i invest in property so residential property lettings right okay it's okay. kind of a it's not my main focus but it's my it's like my pension, if you like. Your retirement. Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Okay, that's fine. So maybe, um, maybe it's just your picture. Then you know, it could be, or yeah. it could be. It, it just looks better than than the than the unbranded profile. Yeah. There. yeah? Totally agree. Okay. Totally agree. All right. Um, scroll down. Okay. Yeah. Again, um, things in there. Um, yeah, yeah. Any certificates and things that you've got? Um that you haven't added on there and stuff? Possibly, yeah, I think there probably is actually. I've kind of um, I've got um, like a Prince 2, but it's not so relevant now. I've got qualifications from my previous life. No, no, definitely Prince 2 is, because that for me says that you've been involved in project management. Sure, yeah. So um, And actually what you're doing with your clients, you're, you're, man you're project managing them. No, definitely include stuff like that. Yeah, okay. Um, making some notes here. Yeah, I mean, don't you don't need to add the eleven plus pass, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. I'm just saying you do need to think about things that are totally relevant, um, yeah. and and doing all of those things. And as I say, getting testimonials. Okay, super stuff. Who else We've got ten more minutes? Thanks, Paul. Anybody else want Thank to you. get stop. their profile up? Come on, be brave. By the way, nice to see you, Jim, um, Marielle, and. Um, I'm sure I saw Kat come in at one stage, but she's gone. Um, you all right, Jem? Uh, hi, Gordon. Hello, everyone. Do we have a uh, I'm late because of the internet connection here in, the, in my location. Oh, so you and can't... nice to meet you. Right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, sometimes we have, link, we have um, uh, Wi-Fi issues, don't we, a little bit? So don't worry. Um, right, who else wants to share? And do you want to share your profile on LinkedIn? You're a social media expert. Um, I'm not proud with my LinkedIn. Can I can I do it next week? <laughs> yeah, of course you can. No problem. Um, Thank you. Uh, who else? James, do you want to share yours? I'm having a nightmare here online this morning, so if you leave me out of this one, then go. Okay, no problem. No problem. Um, <clears throat> and we've done John's. We've done that. Mark, what about yours, Mark? I'm not sure I know how to operate everything. Um, <laughs> I'm just new to laptop and tech okay. and stuff. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. All right, that's that's cool, that's cool. Um, I, I, I think generally, though, um, 
what we need to be thinking more broadly about LinkedIn is is setting some time aside. And I'm, this is advice to myself as well, because it's very easy once you get out of your rhythm to just leave it. You know, I've been very, very busy with work at the moment and I haven't been as active on LinkedIn as I normally am. So um, re re remember that it's not about sharing other people's content as much. It's about people are following you for a reason and they want to be connected to that. So uh, the busiest times for LinkedIn are normally in the early morning between 7.30 and 9 UK time uh, and indeed in the uh, early evening. Yeah. So um, the time that you post is very important for when your audience is like to be most active. There's no point in, you know, if you get up early and think, oh, that looks good. I'll just post that because, you know, one man, is, one man his dog might be looking at it. Do you know what I mean? So uh, really be thinking about this. Um, can, you, can you schedule posts in um, LinkedIn, guys? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, you can do yeah. that on Hootsuite, on Buffer, on a number of others. So, um, yes, as well. Um, I would also think about um, using uh, images, uh, reasonably... Um, longer posts sometimes I don't know what the optimum number is but uh, I think um, I've noticed when there's a little bit of thought that's gone into it and you want to be a little bit you want to provoke conversation at the end of the day you want to provoke because um, a lot of people might be scrolling and watching your post but not necessarily engaging so um, do do uh, always ask a question in your posts yeah, don't just if you share statements, then, you know, you're not allowing anybody to 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 engage. So if you ask them a question and that's one of the reasons why polls have been so, so successful. Um, if you can relay the polls to something that's going on now and it's trending. Yeah. And that you can relate to something. I don't know if anybody saw what was being talked about on the BBC yesterday about influence, child influencers, love to get your perspective on this, uh, blah, 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 blah. So, and, and, you know, so you're not sharing the BBC story, but you're relating to it and you're then asking a, a question. Yeah, I mean, Suze, in your area, um, how many of you are planning your holidays uh, next year? Um, given you know we've gone through a bit difficult time what I've found is there's been a big growth in still in domestic travel or I've, I've found a big growth in experiential holidays rather than just those that are in the sun but what's your view yeah yeah definitely yeah we do try we do ask questions quite a lot on platforms like Instagram but perhaps not so much on LinkedIn so yeah it's interesting to to do that and I see that the polls are quite popular with people as well they are they are yeah. they are they are particularly if it um and, and who's just for example another thing that you could ask Suze is around the trouble and difficulty around the passport office about that people are waiting a long time for that and that's something that's been heavily promoted in the news but mm. what does Suze think about that <laughs> so yeah. actually there's a picture of a pass the passport office and long queues and yeah. does this resonate with you you know and just a reminder everybody i mean the guy that from the independent simon what's his name simon Cal um, caldo isn't it i mean yeah. he, he is the global spokesperson on travel i mean he has got it now he is he is the epitome ironically of authority on travel because he him and and also paul charles of the pc agency so he's actually a pr person but he stepped in on twitter um you know sort of when covid kind of hit and he's he's been really active as well he gives a lot of updates he's a good one to follow so the point i'm saying here is guys is that it's actually it's about um if you can be the news beacon if you can be where you heard it first on um, or you can be the person that has a view on something that's in the mainstream media. It adds huge amounts of credibility because it's timely and people are talking about it. You know, what, what I say to people is talk about where the waves are. Well, when there's a wave of discussion, it's like if you're an accountant, you know, the, the biggest day for you should always be the budget, you know, because actually everybody's talking about it. 
But what does Anthony think about that? You know, what does what's Anthony's view around um, uh, corporation tax increases yeah. and stuff like that? So you then prepare and make a video and say, look, I just want to give you a breakdown um, some of the uh, advice because not everybody will have been looking and watching um, the chancellor's speech. Not everybody will have been doing that. So what what you get from Anthony is a distilled message on what you need to do right now. Yeah, it, Gordon, it, it gets swamped. Every, every accountant, every fucking yeah. body goes, here's the budget, here it is, and this is my advice on it. So it, it, it probably gets lost in the... Translation, yeah. Main, yeah, yeah. It, so I, 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 I would rather do something either before or after a budget rather than on the day because everybody swamps social media. No, no, I, I, I hear you, I hear you. Um, and I think, um, but but you hear my point. My, my point really yeah. was more, more broadly around where there's a discussion that you can tap into is yeah. being able to make reference to it. And you are the distiller of this to this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you've curated that content and made it easily digestible for people. What people don't always want is signposts. If you need advice, go off there, go off there. We haven't got time. You know, tell us, I don't <laughs> want to read 50 pages of crack. I want you to tell me, right, what I need to do right now, you know? And that's yeah. that's what I get when I work with Anthony. You know, that's what I get when I work with Paul. Yeah? Well, that's what I do. It's like 20 years of, 20 years plus of dealing with struggling businesses, I can compound it into a five-minute conversation. There you go. There you go. There you go. That's your strap line. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, well, guys, yeah. um, I hope you found that really useful and it's lovely yeah. to see you again today. Um, same time again next week on Wednesday morning. Tell your friends. If you want to put a little testimonial about this in the Facebook group, I would really appreciate it. Um, and we need to get more people along to these groups because I think they're really good and uh, it's lovely to be part of a nice little community of people. Yeah, that's good. Hope we can all help each other and promote each other. You know, it's what it's all about, isn't it? It, it absolutely Definitely. is, Paul. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Thanks all right, guys. Have a good nice to see you. Thanks, Gordon. See you next week. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.